Hey guys, Ghoster38 here. Wanted to bring you another image video today. The reason why I talked about this now is because I will be partnering up with a bunch of my friends and a Facebook group, along with a group called um, Comic Watch, if anyone's familiar with that, and I'll be starting a podcast. I'm going to call it Splitting Image. I'm going to be covering all the image books from the 90s and working my way up through current books. Um, so some of these comics you'll have seen from my image reviews playlist... Um, so I, I had to sell some of what I had originally, so I'm rebuilding up my image collection to go for the podcast. And with that being said, after I adjust my camera really quick, so that being said, let's get started and we'll start with the pile here because I picked these up today. So I'll show you guys these last. So that being said, let's get started as I bring this forward here. The first book I probably showed you guys as one of my image playlists. This is a behind the scenes comic. This is image plus. And this was a snapshot at the creators, the founder, the image founders during their life. Um, I'll probably look at some of these books individually. I just wanted to show you guys they are first. Profiles on all the artists, Todd, Rob, Jim Lee, Oops. Eric Larson, Savage Dragon. And Jim Valentino with Shadowhawk. Mark Silvestri with Cyberforce. Will Sportacio, he worked on Wetworks. And then several of the other of the creators and artists that worked at Image. I'll probably do some of these, get their own separate videos, but I just wanted to generally show you guys what I got. So I have also ordered some books on eBay. So I'll be getting some more as well. Some of them might be doubles. I don't know. One book that I never read before. This is the issue one of. This is Johnson Strom's Tribe. Um, didn't really catch me at first. I mean, I picked some of these up for a dollar. So it's kind of a hit or miss. This really didn't go for. Like, this really didn't do it for me. So I, kind of won't, I really won't read the rest of the book. So I kind of just have this as kind of a one-off. So yeah, Supreme, he made his debut appearance in Young Blood number three. I have issues two and three on order, so I'll be having those as well. I found four and five at my local comic shop, but then went like four bucks a piece for them instead of like a dollar or two bucks, like a sane person. So yeah, I didn't buy those. But um, I've really enjoyed reading this so far. I'm going to have to give it a reread, and I look forward to reading the rest of it. There's that one. The one that started it all, uh, Youngblood. I have issues 2 through 5 on order from eBay. I have to track down issue 6 and go from there. But this is the first book. I know there's also Team Youngblood, which that was another series that Rob did. Um, which the team's first appearance is also on this one. This is a flip book. But anyway, that's that one. This one is Mark Silvestri's Cyberforce. This is his launch title with Image. I have found issues 2 through 5. They are on my pool list on hold at my one of the comic shops that I do business with as well. There's the old one that I no longer go to, and then there's a new one that I found, so I have the others on hold there, so I'll pick up Cyberforce when I get paid next time. I've really enjoyed reading this one, I actually like it, more so than I originally did when I first picked it up back then, so I have a new appreciation for this one, but anyway, I really enjoyed this one, and yeah, that's Cyberforce. A book that I recently got really interested in. This is by Mike Grell. Um, when I, the first Mike Grell comic I read was Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunters, and I was really enjoying the guy's art. Some people say this book is a hit or miss, but for me, I enjoyed reading it for what it was. This is Mike Grell's Shaman's Tears. It's a Native American comic with, with also has a like H.G. Wells' Island of Dr. Moreau in space side story and the two stories are being told side by side some people say the Native American plot is a little meh I mean I enjoy it for what it is I mean yeah it's a little dull at times in the island with the half human half animal 
hybrids or crossbreeds is certainly an interesting plot, and I definitely look forward to reading more. I have issues one, two, and three. This one I just picked up today as well, along with what's in the paper sack here. So those are the two newest ones. I've read issues one and two so far, and I really enjoyed reading it so far. But that's this one. Um, I'm probably going to give this one its own dedicated video where I can talk about it. But anyway, that's Shaman's Tears. Young Blood number zero, a sort of prequel issue that talks about the team. Um, this guy here, Bra um, Battlestone, he's in Brigade and plays a role in the Team Young Blood and goes some crossover books from there. Chapel, uh, he's the one that killed Spawn, according to the image continuity. Um, okay, here's Supreme number two. I completely forgot that I picked this up at another, at a different comic shop. So I have the first two issues already, so I'll have a double of issue two and uh, a couple of those from there after that. Still need to read this one yet, haven't read it yet. I found two and three of the four issue miniseries on Brigade. I need to find a better copy of issue three. I found one at one place and four at another, so I'm going to have to go there. This is the first series I introduced Brigade before it went into an ongoing series. And of course, as you can see, there's Battlestone from Young Blood Issue Zero. Um, haven't read these yet because I want to read Issue One first and go Issue by Two, Three, and Four from there. And Issue Four of Brigade is also Issue Five of Young Blood, so that's a two for one right there. Um, can't really give my thoughts about this one yet because I haven't read it, so I'll skip that. This is Newman. This was part of the crossover about Shadowhunt, in which the, spoilers, the android robot from the new Shadowhawk was running into things from there. Of course, as you can see, here's some guys from Youngblood. I haven't read this series in particular. I only picked this one up because this was part of the Shadowhunt arc, and this also introduces the Eddie Collins Shadowhawk. Um, so I picked that up for this, not because I'm really a fan of the Newman title, I haven't read it, but, so I wouldn't know. Um, but yeah, I picked that up for this one, so it was just nice to add to my Shadowhawk collection. I have issues 1 through 8 at my house. This is 9, 10, and 11 from Wildcats. Um, I've read this book series once before and had up to issue 12. No, I had a bigger set because um, this was part of my original image playlist. So I had a little bit of a bigger series with this one. So I'm having to rebuy these. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of going to, I might end up giving the Wildcats book its own dedicated video. I just don't want to like, I just want to keep press for time. Anyway, here's those. Really enjoy Jim Lee's artwork. I enjoy his storytelling. Same with Jim Valentino. Shadowhawk and Wildcats are two of my favorite image books. I found this out here as well. This is issue 10 of Shaman's Tears. Really happy I picked this up. Um, I need to get some more issues and then I'll read them in order because out of order it kind of makes a little bit no sense. So I just picked this up because I found it in the back issue bin for a dollar. So hey, couldn't complain. That's that one. And also Team 7. This is a precursor to Gen 13 because a lot of the parents and Team 7 were... Uh, parents, or the dads to the members in um, Gen 13. Also, Cole Cash from Wildcats is, excuse me, was on the team. And this was the trade that has the first four issues from the first run. Um, really enjoyed this book. Excited I got it, and had to, and glad to have it back in the collection. It's Team 7. And then in here, I found Issue 9 of Shaman's Tears. By Mike Grell. Issue 4. Zero. The beginning issue. Prequel issue. And 5. So I have issue 0 through 5. 9. And 10. So there we go. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, I'm really excited to get this podcast off the ground. I will be uploading those to my YouTube channel as well. Um, other than that, I look forward to showing you guys what I'm working on and to be further updated on all things image, video games, 
comics, books, and TV related, um, be sure to click that bell notification and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Comment below your favorite team and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Take care and peace.